Troops. Congressman Esty joins us live now. Congressman, thank you for joining us on this uh, on this difficult night. Well, Rachel, it's great to be with you, but I wish it were not yet again for another tragic shooting that didn't need to happen in America. When shootings like this happens, and this is one of the worst ever after Virginia Tech and after Newtown, this is the school shooting where more people were killed than any other school shooting other than those two. You know that people are going to turn to you across the country um, for help in trying to understand it and trying to think, uh, trying to help to, to think constructively about why it happened, about what can be done, about how to move forward. Um, you know the country is going to turn to you on nights like this. I wonder if that itself makes you angry. It does. Today is Valentine's Day. Today is a day when we celebrate love. We celebrate the people we care about, and we make a point to tell them how much we care for them. And I think about those parents. I think about children whose bodies have not yet been identified. And you know there are going to be Valentines in some of those backpacks that got abandoned in, in the and the fright. Valentines that will never be opened by children who will never come home. And that's wrong. And we're a better country than that. What do you want Congress to do that Congress isn't doing? to use its head and its heart. You know, gun owners are parents too. And gun owners need to stand up and use their voices and to demand that members of Congress, regardless of their party affiliation, do the right thing here. You listen to Melissa, what a brave teacher mm -hmm. she is. And she saved lives today. She was prepared, she learned, we taught her good data about how to save lives, right? If our teachers can learn it, and our superintendents and our law enforcement officials do what to do when the unimaginable happens, why can't members of Congress look at the very convincing information out of states like mine, like Connecticut, with tough gun laws, where we do save lives by smart, sensible laws that keep Guns out of the hands of dangerous people. It is not rocket science. We can do this. We need the political backbone and the will of my colleagues. Looking at Parkland, Florida today, do you feel like there are lessons from how Newtown has made it through these past five years that could help that community? Lean on your friends. Ask for help. Support the first responders. Some of the people who have the hardest time truthfully will be the parents, the teachers, but especially teachers in the school and first responders. It's our first duty as a parent to protect our children. It's instinct, it's human nature, but it is the duty of a teacher to protect his or her students. And it's the duty of law enforcement to protect us all. And those adults who could not save those children's lives from an evil, young man with a gun who should never have had one, they will be questioning the rest of their lives what could they have done. And that is something no one should have to live with. Congresswoman Elizabeth Esty 